What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. They have an official release date trailer for The Dark Pictures, Little Hope. I, for the life of me, don't remember when this game was supposed to come out, but I do remember that I was going to play it. I definitely enjoyed Man of Medan. It was my debut, quote-unquote, into the horror genre on the channel, and I've played a few games ever since. You know, Man of Medan, I played Blair Witch, I played an indie game called Shiver, and I'm definitely going to play uh, Little Hope. And since it's a dark anthology, there's going to be, I think, like one more or two more coming after this game. Definitely going to play every single one of them. So without further ado, let's see what this trailer brings us today. Peggy 18. Yes. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. Famous last words. Oh, it's coming out Halloween? Okay, I can Where dig we? it. We're near Little Hope. It sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. A town with a sinister past. It's not natural. Five lost souls. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. What the hell is this thing? A warning, perhaps. Yep. Whoa. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? There's someone else out here by the fire. Come play. Come play with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do we do? We'll echo through time. What the hell is that? Oh my god. What is that? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Single player theatrical cut. Yeah, the two player online. She is the one in league with the devil. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh damn! Yo, look at that! That is so good! Look at all the stuff they're giving out! Oh my god! That... That hurt! <laughs> Watching that... That hurt! Dang! Okay, so... Let's go over what we saw. And you know what I'll also do? I'll also compare it to Man of Medan. If you haven't seen my playthrough of Man of Medan, here's your spoiler warning. I recommend go watch it. it. It was a great game. It definitely was a great game. It was actually the first game I played on the channel that involved the choice system. So, let's break this down. Number one... We're back with youngsters again. It's always the young kids that are doing this. I, I act like I'm old. I only just turned 28. But either way, you know, college kids. Every time. Every good horror movie always has to have college kids. Number two, there is a fog that is pushing them towards Little Hope. And you know, as a DM, Dungeon Master playing D&D, &D, I actually have my party going through some of Curse of Strahd. So that popped into my head because there is a an almost sentient fog in that as well. That's completely off topic. But there is some otherworldly power at work here. Number three, it's so strange because... It's like they're blending the modern era with that old school era. Was it the 1800s that had uh, 
the Salem witch trials? My mistake. It was the late 1600s where the Salem witch trials took place. And we already know that they're going over the Salem witch trials. I did a reaction video of them talking about it, and I even compared the uh, the stick symbol that's in that game, and I compared it to the stick symbol of Blair Witch, which isn't necessarily a Salem witch trial kind of thing, but it's the, the concept of witchery, witchcraft, stuff like that. Next, it looks like stuff is actually real this time. In Man of Medan, it was nothing but a hallucination because of the Manchurian gold, which was a chemical agent that the U.S. military got their hands on during one of the world wars. I forget if it was one or two uh, in the game. Because, yeah, we're seeing, you know, stuff falling apart, people on fire, that impalement, Grandma Jean getting freaking yanked by the chains. Whatever crawled from out of the ground, there was a whole lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole lot going on, and I am excited. Especially seeing, as it's coming out during Halloween, what a perfect time for a game of this caliber to come out on Halloween. Now, I know what you're saying. A lot of horror games come out on Halloween. But the fact that this is based off of witchcraft makes it that much more sensible when it comes to the time, but I'm definitely, definitely gonna play that game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave the video a like, and if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this mayhem? Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget, to holla at your bear. Peace out. I'm gonna eat my slot. I dropped my sandwich.